Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about the truth about calcium supplements and everything you need to know about them. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Calcium is an important nutrient that your body needs for many basic functions. When you were a child, your mom may have encouraged you to drink milk to build strong bones. Calcium is important for bone health throughout your life. Although diet is the best way to get calcium, calcium supplements may be an option if your diet falls short. Your body needs calcium to build and maintain strong bones. Your heart, muscles, and nerves also need calcium to function properly. Some studies suggest that calcium, along with vitamin D, may have benefits beyond bone health, perhaps protecting against cancer, diabetes, and high blood pressure. But evidence about such health benefits is not definitive. As an adult, you're much more likely to take a calcium supplement than down four glasses of milk a day to protect your bone health. However, you do it, getting enough calcium is a good idea since women are far more likely than men to develop osteoporosis, a condition of weak and fragile bones that makes you prone to fractures. Of the 10 million Americans with osteoporosis, 80% are women. The risks of too little calcium. If you don't get enough calcium, you could face health problems related to weak bones. Children may not reach their full potential adult height. Adults may have low bone mass, which is a risk factor for osteoporosis. Many Americans don't get enough calcium in their diets. Children and adolescents are at risk, but so are adults age 50 and older. But before you unwrap that chocolate flavored calcium chew or swallow a calcium pill, you should know that taking calcium supplements may not be helping your bones at all. Even worse, the supplements may lead to major health problems. Before you consider calcium supplements, be sure you understand how much calcium you need, the pros and cons of calcium supplements, and which type of supplement to choose. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Who should consider calcium supplements? Even if you eat a healthy, balanced diet, you may find it difficult to get enough calcium if you, follow a vegan diet, have lactose intolerance and limit dairy products, consume large amounts of protein or sodium, which can cause your body to excrete more calcium, are receiving long-term treatment with corticosteroids, have certain bowel or digestive diseases that decrease your ability to absorb calcium, such as inflammatory bowel disease or celiac disease. In these situations, calcium supplements may help you meet your calcium requirements. Talk with your doctor or dietitian about whether calcium supplements are right for you. Types of calcium supplements. Several different kinds of calcium compounds are used in calcium supplements. Each compound contains varying amounts of the mineral calcium, referred to as elemental calcium. Common calcium supplements may be labeled as calcium carbonate, 40% elemental calcium, calcium citrate, 21% elemental calcium, calcium gluconate, 9% elemental calcium, calcium lactate, 13% elemental calcium. The two main forms of calcium supplements are carbonate and citrate. Calcium carbonate is the cheapest and therefore often a good first choice. Other forms of calcium in supplements include gluconate and lactate. Also, some calcium supplements are combined with vitamins and other minerals. For instance, some calcium supplements may also contain vitamin D or magnesium. Check the ingredient list to see which form of calcium your calcium supplement is, and what other nutrients it may contain. This information is important if you have any health or dietary concerns. More isn't always better, too much calcium has risks. Dietary calcium is generally safe, but more isn't necessarily better, and excessive calcium doesn't provide extra bone protection. If you take calcium supplements and eat calcium-fortified foods, you may be getting more calcium than you realize. Check food and supplement labels to monitor how much total calcium you're getting a day and whether you're achieving the RDA, but not exceeding the recommended upper limit. Be sure to tell your doctor if you're taking calcium supplements. Problems with calcium supplements Acid rebound Calcium carbonate may cause acid rebound. The stomach overcompensates for the high dose of calcium carbonate, which is alkaline, by churning out more acid. For that reason, people with a history of stomach ulcers are advised that they may not tolerate it, and may have to switch to calcium citrate. Constipation Calcium supplements can have a mild binding effect, but by themselves don't usually cause serious constipation. But if you're taking another supplement or medication that binds the stool, 
the addition of calcium supplements could cause a problem. Too much calcium. Although it doesn't happen often, some people have taken so much calcium that it causes hypercalcemia, an above normal level of calcium in the blood. Hypercalcemia may cause nausea, vomiting, confusion, and other neurological symptoms. Drug interactions. Large doses of calcium interfere with the absorption of a variety of drugs. You should avoid consuming large amounts of calcium, either in food or as a supplement, within two to four hours of taking tetracycline or quinolone antibiotic. After taking alendronate, Fosamax, Resedronate, Actinel, or another one of the bisphosphonate drugs for osteoporosis, you should wait at least 30 minutes before consuming a large amount of calcium. Potential increased health risks. Excessive calcium supplement intake has been associated with a higher risk of kidney, and possibly an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, and aggressive prostate cancer. A better calcium option. While taking calcium supplements may produce unwanted side effects, meeting your calcium needs through your diet is safe. When you get calcium through your diet, you're taking it in small amounts spread throughout the day along with other food sources, which helps you absorb the nutrient. Most people can get adequate calcium through their diet if they make an effort. Women ages 19 to 50 should consume 1000 mg of calcium a day, and the target for women over 50 is 1200 mg per day. Good dietary sources of calcium include Almonds Oranges Dried figs Soybeans Garbanzo, white and pinto beans Low-fat dairy such as milk and yogurt Leafy green vegetables such as kale and spinach Exercise to strengthen bones Being active and exercising regularly protects bone health. Weight-bearing exercises such as walking, jogging, and weight training are especially helpful in preventing bone loss. Simply moving more throughout the day supports bone health too. Research indicates that women who sit for more than 9 hours a day are 50% more likely to have a hip fracture, than those who are less sedentary. Finding ways to work more walking or standing into your day can add up. For example, park farther away from buildings, take the stairs instead of the elevator, and pace while on phone calls. For most women, skipping calcium supplements in favor of boosting dietary calcium, and focusing on weight-bearing exercise is the best way to keep bones strong. But if you're still concerned about getting enough calcium, talk to your doctor first before taking supplements to see if you need them. Calcium is a crucial mineral for the body that is most known for its association with bone health and the prevention of osteoporosis. Most people get their daily calcium intake from supplements and dairy products. However, recent studies have revealed that these sources are less than ideal, if not dangerous. It's important to protect your bone strength and guard against fractures as you age, but taking a supplement isn't the best way to do that. There are other ways to keep your bones strong like doing exercise, getting enough vitamin D and vitamin K. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.